Hey guys, Jeff here from besttechie.com and it's that time of year again. That's right, it's iPhone day right here at besttechie.com and around the world too. Well, at least the countries that Apple has launched the new iPhone XS and iPhone XS Max. So let's jump right in to the unboxing. So as you can see right here, I have the iPhone XS Max in 256 gigabytes in space gray. And I'm really excited to get it open. There's got a whole bunch of really cool things that come with it. Includes obviously ear pods with lightning connector, lightning to USB cable. I really wish that was USB-C at this point. Uh, but what are you gonna do? Hopefully Apple will eventually make that jump. Uh, but you know, we'll have to wait to see what next year brings. Anyway, of course, this has the 12 megapixel camera similar to uh, back facing camera similar to the iPhone 10. And it has the same seven megapixel camera in the front facing camera and of course face ID technology built in as well. So let's, let's just see, just like last year, they have the little flap to easily take off the outer wrapping. So we're just gonna throw that aside for right now. And one of the things I'm really excited about with the iPhone 10, of course, uh, the 10, 10S, I'm sorry, the 10S with the, with the Max version is that it is a little bit bigger. It has a six and a half inch display designed by Apple in California. Put that aside, whoa. There it is. Let's take a look at this. It has that dual lens on the back, similar to the iPhone 10. Again, it is a little bit bigger. Has a six and a half inch display on the front. We'll take that aside. We don't really need this right now. In fact, I hate ear pods as much of you know. Even the AirPods don't really work well for me. So as you can see, this is an iPhone 10 next to an iPhone 10s that is a bit smaller, uh, both the case and of course the screen. And yeah, I mean, the design is roughly the same, in fact, exactly the same, if you look at it from a standpoint of <clears throat> stainless steel on the outside, on the edges, glass on the front and back, obviously, and that dual camera design it is essentially the exact same display, and I am a little shaky because I'm so excited about this, plus I'm holding this at a slightly weird angle. Um, but yeah, like... Seriously, this is the iPhone XS Max, and we're gonna, well, we're gonna start setting it up and turning it on, and uh, getting it up and running with all my apps, all my settings, all my stuff like that, just by a simple iCloud backup, I'm gonna restore from and make it a super simple, hopefully painless process that uh, that will take place. So let's let's try it out. So I've now removed the, uh, the film covering, plastic film covering on the front and back, Let's turn this baby on. There it goes, first boot. Hello, hello to you. English, United States. So, if you have an iPad or an iPhone, that's weird, running iOS 11 or later, there we go. Bring it nearby to sign in automatically, okay. Unlock and continue. This is similar to last year, actually. What they had last year. I'm just gonna unlock my phone. It is connecting. Hold the camera. Hold your new iPhone up to the camera. Get that, boom. Now I have to enter a new passcode. Excuse me while I do this now. So now it's currently setting up the iPhone. It does feel a little bit bigger in my hand, but not, for me, not that much bigger. I'm gonna connect to the Evnet. I gotta put in the password. So now it's currently activating the phone. And it will deactivate the other one. There we go. All right, so we gotta continue. Now I have to set up Face ID, so let's do that. It should take two seconds. 
And yeah, we have to go through a couple more settings like setting up my Apple Watch, setting up True Tone Display. And now we wait. <laughs> we wait for the restore to happen. It says time remaining estimating. So uh, we'll see what happens with that. Hopefully it won't be too long. Uh, in my experience, it typically is pretty fast because what it does is it downloads all the apps after the actual settings and other things have been restored. Uh, and the apps are downloaded afterwards. So it makes it a little bit quicker, at least to get, start using your phone. Anyway, I'm going to be restoring this and I'll get back to you guys with some more updates on the iPhone 10s Max in the near future, but stay tuned and I'll let you know as as the restore takes place and as it would get up and running, I'll give you some initial thoughts on the iPhone 10s as well. So it's been a couple days now since the iPhone 10s arrived here at my house and I've been testing it out for the weekend pretty much. And I wanted to do a little update now on this video with the my kind of uh, first impressions, first thoughts, if you will, on the brand new iPhone 10s. Now, a couple things I want to, there's like four topics I want to cover. I want to cover the uh, the size and weight of the device. I want to cover the speed and face ID. I want to uh, cover uh, the uh, screen. And then I want to cover uh, the camera a bit. So I'm going to break it down into those four categories. So first off, size and weight. And if you think about it, the iPhone XS Max is is essentially the same exact size as the iPhone 8 Plus. In fact, the 10 Max, 10S Max, I'm sorry, is just 0 0.04 inches taller height-wise than the than the than the 8 Plus. The difference obviously is that the 10X I'm sorry, the 10S Max is all screen in the front whereas the 8 Plus is not. It has obviously the be the, the bezel and then the home button and stuff. This does not have that. So that obviously is a huge difference right there. I freaking love this giant screen in my hand. The other thing in terms of the weight, it is a it is obviously you know bigger uh, and weighs a little bit more than the iPhone 10 last year's model. It's also bigger and weighs a little bit more than the iPhone 10s. That being said, it's not really noticeable to me. It's not unwieldy in my hand by any means. I mean, it's bigger, feels bigger. But again, I'll, I'll take that because I like the bigger screen component that it offers. Uh, so, so I really do like the bigger screen, the bigger size. Um, you know, I thought when I got the 10 that I was going to be like, oh, yeah, this is the perfect size. I, I kind of felt, I, I still, I felt it was an upgrade to go from a 7 plus to a 10. Uh, and I thought that was good, but this is even better. Um, this upgrade is from the 10 to the 10s Max is even better. Now from a speed and uh, face ID perspective, I'm, I'm, I'll tell you why I'm grouping those in just a second. From a speed perspective, Geekbench is, is benching these babies at like 22,000, giving a compute, uh, compute metal score of like 20 in the 22,000 range for the 10s and the 10s Max. Now the iPhone 10 got a score in the, in the 15,000 range. So that's quite a, that's quite a jump, right? Uh, aside from the 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 jump in uh benchmark scores it just feels really snappy it, ju it just feels like I, I every year it always gets better but that's because the that's because apple's chip team is doing such a great job with the a12 bionic chip that's in here it also incorporates that neural uh learning engine which is just going to be uh, incredible for ar2 uh ar kit 2 i'm sorry and for metal 2 so there's not a ton of apps out there yet that take advantage of uh, those technologies, but there will be, and I'm assuming they're gonna be games, mostly. I'm not a huge gamer, but I'm excited to try out ARKit 2 and uh, and see what it has to offer, especially on the 10s and the 10s Max. So that's gonna be really exciting. But yeah, this phone is super duper fast. And I even think that it's faster with Face ID in terms of unlocking my phone. Uh, I haven't really found a way to test that um, well yet but it just it just feels faster definitely feels faster even with face id unlocking the phone just seems a lot faster so in terms of uh this giant screen here the six and a half inch screen on the 10s max uh compared to the 10s 5.8 screen 5.8 inch screen which is the same as the iphone 10 uh they both actually the 10s and the 10s max both have a pixel density uh it's exactly the same 458 pixels per inch. So that's how many pixels are in every inch of uh, 
you know, this this display pretty much. It's, it's incredible how many pixels have been packed into this display. Um, so there's that, and 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 because the screen is bigger on the 10s Max, which is the one I have, the you have more screen real estate. So apps such as Mail and um, and Safari even offer additional kind of views that you can pull up. Now, I really think that those additional views and kind of things will probably make their way in to, uh, you know, other apps uh, that are that are made by third party developers most likely to take advantage of this screen. It's it's probably gonna be in the near future, so keep an eye out for any updates, especially in the change log and notes. If they said that they're now offering uh, new kinds of views and things like that for 10s Max users, You'll definitely want to take advantage of those, and so keep an eye out. But yeah, I really love this screen. I mean, it's it's so it's bright. It's it's just it's just it's a stunning screen. It's really really nice. The six and a half inches it just feels like it just feels like it just feels great to, to kind of read on. Uh, I have a bunch of books obviously on here that I love reading. Uh, I normally read on my iPad, but I feel like now I could totally read um, my books. Uh, even on my iPhone XS. I felt on the iPhone 10 and even other iPhones that when I was reading on the subway and things, it just didn't feel right. It, it was very, you know, it, it, there's, it's a small screen. It just was hard to kind of get into. I really like the bigger screen here for that purpose too. And of course, video content's great uh, on a bigger screen. All right, so camera. This That's an important factor that a lot of people want to know about, right? How, how good is the camera? Well, the camera is, um, you wouldn't know it by looking at it on the spec sheet, so it looks exactly the same as the 10. It's actually a lot better. It's um, the camera on the 10s and the 10s Max is the same exact camera. Um, they didn't, you know, there's no upgraded version uh, on the 10s Max. It's exactly the same as the 10s. That being said, the software, the Smart HDR software, works really, really well. It uses a combination of uh, ISP and uh, the sensor, the camera sensor, and also what this neural. Uh, engine that Apple designed in the A12 Bionic uh, to create really, really great HDR photographs and some of the best ones I've ever seen taken. Uh, I'm really impressed with this camera. And I'm also impressed um, with how much better the low lighting is. Uh, it's able to find much more detail uh, on lower, on you know, lower lit, uh, lower lit pictures. Um, it's that's not sound as grainy as even on the 10, and also the technology on 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 the 10s and the 10s Max is really good for uh, lighting that has a lot of backlight. So like if you're if you're like face if you're like back to the sun or you're taking a photo and like it, like the sun's up here, it does really great things with exposure using the the the, the software that's built into the camera system on the phone. Uh, so I'm really impressed again with Apple. And their and their and their software and hardware kind of uh, you know, alignment, uh, the way the teams kind of work together to 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 get the most out of each, you know, uh, is really impressive. And the last thing I just want to note, I know I didn't mention this earlier, but the battery life has been really good. I've been impressed with it, thoroughly impressed actually. You know, using it daily, I, um, I've got it's definitely it's definitely made its way through the day uh, in my usage with no issues whatsoever. Uh, I've definitely gotten ten plus hours out of it for sure, even with like brightness up and stuff like that. So it's really great uh, on the battery. I, to I I I don't see any issues there. If you're looking for a good battery, of course the 10s Max they claim has an additional hour and thirty minutes better battery than the uh, than the 10. And if you got the 10s it has about 30 minutes better battery uh, than the 10. Anyway, that pretty much covers it for what I wanted to talk about today. I just wanted to you know, do the unboxing and also then come back with some first impressions and some first thoughts. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. And, if, and remember, if you like this video, feel free to hit that like button. Feel free to subscribe, or you can also check out our website, besttechie.com. We'd really appreciate it. If you have any questions, or you want to get in touch with me, of course, you can email me, jeff at besttechie.com. I look forward to hearing from you. Until next time, we'll see you. And remember, remember, take care of your computers.